clip I found at the Goodwill. Um, it's like 70% wool, the rest is nylon, so it's like soft. It does not have armholes, so I might have to learn how to steak, but... She cute. Hello, I'm trying this thing out where I vlog, like, uh, a small amount, just a small amount, uh, so I have minimal editing, and I'm gonna try to do it every, not every day, but like every, you know, like multiple times a week maybe, for a chance. So like, basically, I keep like recording videos. Oh my god, there's so many people. So basically, I keep recording videos and um, just like never editing them. And I have honestly like hours and hours and hours of footage on my phone of just like stuff that I've just never actually put together because it takes a lot of time and mental energy and I just like, I don't really wanna do that. I mean, like I do, I actually do really like editing videos. I just always run out of energy for it. Um, so I'm gonna try to do very like chill, like I end up filming so much stuff that I would make like a 20, 30 minute video and it's like, well, you can just make a five minute video like that's better than no video. So welcome to this video, it's called shopping for fabric and stuff to sew Halloween related things and also going to Goodwill and buying shit. So I don't know. I want to make Winona Ryder's um, host dress from Beetlejuice too. <laughs> I could not find any fabric that I thought would work well for this um, Lydia Dietz adult host dress, like the one she wears where she's like hosting her show. Spoiler, I'm Beetlejuice too. And um, could not find like anything. Like I just wanted like a thin like t-shirt weight cotton. Like I have t-shirts that are like the exact same feel that I want, 100% cotton. All the stuff over in the stretch knits was, like the solid stretch knits, stretch knits was, um, was just mostly polyester but i found it in the children's fabric section <laughs> life hack okay wait this is on clearance and it's like archaeology and it's like really cheap this is so cute so i want to make boxer shorts and like boxer short style pants out of some sort of like Halloween-y fabric. Um, most of the quilting cotton is a little too heavy, but I honestly don't mind that much, um, whatever. So I think I need like half a yard of one and like a full yard of another, maybe like two yards of like the pant material. I mean, any extra I can figure out how to use, but this is the tough part of, I have to make decisions. <laughs> I love all of the fabrics. do bugs. I like bugs. This is a really cute like vintage style print and they have a few different versions of it. I dyed some fabric this past week and um, it actually went pretty well and I put some lace in that I did not know the content. I definitely should have had synthetic dye. Um, good to check on the prices. So really not bad prices. I think this is the Joann's like store brand, but this is mega on sale. So I'm willing to uh, take the risk because mine is super old. Bad news, one of my credit cards was stolen. <laughs> so like right before I went, I went to check out, I used my other card, which is fine. It's really not that big a deal, but it was annoying. Um, I just have to, I turned off my card so they can't use it anymore, but I have to order like another one, new one. Anyway, total from Joann's was $88. I'm pretty pleased. I normally do try not to be like super consumeristic and buy a bunch of shit, um, which I know I just like did that, but I love the Halloween Ookie Spooky stuff and I've always wanted to do like a good haul of like somewhere that I actually will like for a long time and I do. 
Oh, they're trying to buy Uber Eats. They're trying to buy $50 to Uber Eats with my stolen car. That's ridiculous. Guys, get, get a life. Anyway, so... I'm gonna go. <laughs> they keep trying. I'm gonna what about? I'm gonna go home, and and yeah, look at this, and uh, get my stuff, and I'll do a little haul of the things I got. Um, yeah. Anyway, point is, I love when Joanne's has all of their like Halloween spooky witchy type stuff because they don't have it all year. All of all of the you know different patterns and stuff. I almost had all the different flavors. Wow. I need to go to bed. Um. So I got some stuff to make like little just like stuff I wear around the house. To be honest, that I just kind of like put up with what I have and then I run out of comfortable things that do laundry and it's like well maybe you could just make a couple more comfortable things so I'm pleased Say hi. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do a um a mini haul right now I would like to show the fabrics maybe better like tomorrow or in a few days or something but Right now we're like to the wire because it's like 9 p.m. I'm going to try to get a decent amount more sewing done on my Renfest bodice. I would like my little top. I don't think it's going to take that much more considering kind of how much I got done last night. But I'm also like cooking dinner, which could be lunch tomorrow. I have to go to work tomorrow. And my friends are coming over. And then it's like the Renfest. So we don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to um, wash these fabrics now because thank God I have free washer dryer. So blessed to have that to be honest. And, um, yeah, so I'll do a mini, mini haul, but then actually going through the fabrics and talking about, like, my plans for them, I think I will do another day. <laughs> so, we have, um, some little Heldy and Joe pendants. I do have one of those, like, vintage, like, style, um, crane scissor tattoos. I actually have these exact scissors, and they're life-size, and I have the tattoo, partially because of my love for sewing, and yes, partially because of Over the Garden Wall. So these are like sort of a gunmetal slash bronze. They kind of have both sheens to them. That would be my microwave. <laughs> um, these were very cute. Um, they were also, for some reason, they had these super on sale. Um, so I got a hot glue gun and a few glue sticks. I have a hot glue gun. She's a workhorse. She's great. But this was $2.47. So I was like, well, let me try it. Um, I have the... Because to be fair, my hot glue gun, to be clear, is like ancient. So... Uh, you know, I really haven't looked at it in a while. I, I don't actually know where we stand. Um, I got these cute hairpins. I got, oops, these cute, these are just like plain hairpins. I wear a lot of gold jewelry and the way my hair is cut, it often just falls straight in my face and I want like, I can just salt fall straight down. My sides are shaved. Um, and I like to be able to tuck this behind my ear or like, I like the feeling of it tucked behind my ears, but I like the look of it in the front. And I feel like if I just pull back a little bit, it would be better. So I'm excited about, I wanted hair clips like that for a minute. I got this beautiful moth pendant that I think I will probably put on my little, I have the lavender sort of like style bestie bag from, um, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Uniqlo? Question mark? I think it's from Uniqlo. Anyway, and then crazy glue because it was the cheapest super glue and I just need some super glue. Um, these are like tarot style little blocks. I'm going to try to make ice because I do have a big obnoxious Stanley cup. Sorry. Um, in my defense, I did paint on it and it looks very cute. Um, I want to make ice. I got the, this is a sneak peek of these fabrics. These are stretchy. So those are uh, woven cottons. These ones are stretchy. Um, this is for a cosplay question mark, a cosplay slash like wearable at home garment, lace, lace, very pretty lace. Um, actually, I don't know what I'm washing. I probably shouldn't like, I should probably wash this separate. And then, um, this is like a cape thing that I got that I think I, I took a video of earlier at Goodwill and, uh, oops, anything else that we missed, um, you know, it'll turn up someday. So I'm going to put this stuff in the laundry. Oh yes, okay, so I have this beautiful, tall, tall, long taper candles to go in my pewter candle holders over there, which right now has a gourd that looks like a goose, and look, that one looks like a, another goose, that one, well that one looks like a duck, and then that one looks like a goose. So now, instead of a duck, it can actually be a candle holder, and it'll have real candles, and it'll be great. How many food would you like to see? So this is, actually really, I'm really excited about it, those are udon noodles. The chicken is straight up just um, the blue bag at Aldi, like the frozen chicken tenders, if you know, you know. And then I have a few frozen pot stickers in here, obviously now unfrozen, but also just like from Aldi, super cheap. Maybe from Trader Joe's, I think from Aldi. And then I've had some olive oil, some sesame oil, some the rest of my 
um, teriyaki sauce and then a little bit of sweet and sour sauce. And then I didn't put official soy sauce in here, but I put the packet that comes with the um, pot stickers, which is pretty much just soy sauce and a little bit more vinegar. And then I put some garlic and onion powder and I wanted black pepper, but I don't know where our black pepper went. Like it's totally gone missing. So I, that's annoying. Um, and overall, I'm pretty freaking excited to eat it. I really would have rather had a little more garlic and maybe some like onions and like crisps or something. But I think for a meal made of like cheap frozen food, I'm excited. She does not understand how the tube works. She does not get it. You can't, you can't do that.